Well, hello, everybody. This is a unique year, but I'm sure we're going to get through it together. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mr. Caniano. I'm the computer science teacher at PS221. This is going to be a very different year, but we have some measures in place to make sure that it runs smoothly. So I'm going to go over some of those things today in this video. And uh, the first thing I want to talk about is how computers is going to be done. So this year, computers is going to be done in the classroom. So I will come to the classroom for the students who are in blended learning. I will come to the classroom with laptops. And it's very important for me to be at least 12 feet away from the students for the safety of everybody because I'm somebody who's in every classroom around the building. If you are coming in for blended learning, I highly suggest you bring your own headphones. We will not provide headphones, but if you would like to put your own headphones in, I highly suggest you bring them. That way the sound can be a little easier for you to hear. So if you know you have computers on you know, day A or day B, whichever cohort you're in, you can bring your own headphones in to make the sound a little better on the computer. The other thing I recommend is to bring in your username and password for Google Classroom because you may start a project with me, Blended Weren't Learning, and then you may finish it at home on Google Classroom. So please bring in your username and password. I have all the students' usernames, but I don't have your password. So if you bring your username and password each day, that will allow you to start a project while you're in school, and then you can finish it at home. I don't want you to have to do the same thing over and over and over again. If you're somebody who's doing work at home, and you cannot do the activity because of your device, maybe you're on an iPad, or maybe your computer doesn't allow you to access something, just send me an email. It's no worries. I understand this is a very unique time. So don't worry about it if you can't finish a particular activity because of the device you're on. We're just going to do the best we can. The best way to reach me is by email. And my email is tcaniano at schools.myc.gov. And the reason my email is the best way to reach me is because I'm in many different Google Classrooms, but I have one email. So if you send me a message to Google Classroom, sometimes it's hard for me to get it or I could easily pass over it. But if you email me, that's the easiest way to get in touch with me. I also want to discuss some of the activities we will be doing this year. Here are some of the topics we will work on this year. First, we're going to talk about internet safety. And in fifth grade, we're going to talk about plagiarism and how to cite your work. We're also going to work on our typing this year to reinforce the correct finger position to increase our speed and accuracy. We're going to work with Microsoft Word. And if you don't have Word, you can use Google Docs. We will also work with Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Excel, you can use Google Sheets. We're going to spend a lot of time probably around late October, early November, working with Google Slides. We're going to do a long, long presentation on an in innovator and an inventor. And we're going to research on them and make a PowerPoint or a Google slide on them. We're going to spend a lot of time, especially starting in December, using Scratch. And we're going to do a lot more activities with Scratch this year to create our own games. We're also going to create our own website in the spring using Weebly. And finally, at the end of the year, we're going to do some work with some graphic arts websites. Okay, so here we are at our school website, PS221Q period ORG. To get started, we're going to click on Grade Level Resources. And then from here, you can click on your grade to get activities. For this week, we're going to work on our typing. So you're going to click on Typing over here, typing.com. And then you're going to enter in your username. So we will use the same username we did last year. And the username is your graduation year and then your first name and your last name. So if your name was John Smith and you were in the fifth grade, you put 21 John Smith, okay? If you were in the fourth grade, you would put 22 John Smith, John Smith. If you were in the third grade, you put 23 John Smith, okay? And then you would click next, and the password is PS221Q. So the username is the graduation year, 21 for the 5th grade, 22 for the 4th grade, and 23 for the 3rd grade. And the password is PS221Q. I want to do a quick review of where to place our fingers on the keyboard. So the pointy fingers go on the F and the J. Okay, So left pointy finger goes on the F, and the right pointy finger goes on the J. The left pinky goes on the A. 
the right pinky goes on the semicolon over here. You're going to have your point, your uh, ring fingers, left ring finger on the S, right ring finger on the L, middle finger on the right side goes to the K, middle finger on this side goes to the D, pointy fingers on the F and the J, and the thumbs go on the space bar. Okay, so the pinky will do all of these red keys over here. The ring finger does all of these keys, and the middle finger will do the green keys over here, and the pointy finger on the left side does all of these light blue keys. On the right side, pointy finger starts on the J, does all of these keys. Middle finger does the K, I, and the comma. And the right ring finger does the yellow keys over here. And then the pinky on the right side will do all of these. So when you're typing, please make sure you are using the correct fingers. Okay, so we always start with our fingers on the F and the J. And then our pinkies go on the A and the semicolon, and our thumbs go on the space bar. So when you start typing, please do that. Now, when you use typing.com in your account, I can log in, and I can see the children's progress, how fast they are typing, and their accuracy. So please make sure you log into your account when you type so I can see how you are doing.